Welcome. This video is going to demonstrate to you how to set up your home computer to run the Office 2013 for My IT Lab software. The first thing is to go to the My IT Lab for Information Technology IT www.myitlab.com website. When you arrive at this site, you will notice a few things. First, once you are registered and set up in your course, this is the link where you will sign in on the right hand side. In order to register and set up your course, you will need to click on the student access area and then simply you'll need three things in order to get set up. You'll need your university email address, your course ID which will be found on your syllabus, and an access code or credit card. Now in Office 2013, if you do not have, you haven't gone to the bookstore to receive your bundled book package with your access code and you don't have your credit card handy, you can still register for a temporary access. When you click, and even if you do have your access code, this is the steps that you will follow. When you click on this, you would simply click on Office 2013. Now, please note that if you only have Office 2010 on your home computer system, this is simply setting up your computer so that you will have pop-up blockers allowed so from the Pearson website and that you can run the software for the MyIT Lab. So simply click on the Office 2013 and then you will be asked to enter your access code. Now I'm just going to put in an access code for one of my courses and then if you have an account set up you can log in and you can set up in this account. Now I'm going to sign in using my Elon account because I know that this is not in my Elon account. So if you don't have a, an account set up, you're going to create one. If you do have an account set up, maybe for my math lab, my accounting lab, um, you will have a temporary access for when you have access to this. So please note that when you are set up, then you can have temporary access. Now, I'm simply going to um, now take you back to the home page for that registering, and this will let you know um, that your course is set up. Now, this is a temporary access that will show up in your course when you do this. So when you put in this course code, if you do not have an access code, you know, and you're not sure if you have an account, then please go ahead and set one up and create one. The next thing to do once you've registered and set up your account is to set up your computer. Once you click on Students and Support, you're going to click on the Support for Office 2013. The next step is to click under the set up your computer. Now notice there are other options here if you need to contact support. Remember your professors are not awake at 3 in the morning when you decide to do your work. So my IT lab support staff is available to you 24 7. So if anytime you contact them please get an incident number from them and you can copy your professor and let them know that you did get assistance. Especially if um, if anything is not able to be resolved and you can't get things working the way you need it to be. 99.9% .9 of the time support will resolve your issue. Now when you set up your home computer for Office 2013 you need to make sure that you have the proper operating systems and browsers. Okay, So the first thing I'm going to click on this and it brings you down to the operating systems. Now it says for a Mac or Windows that you need Windows 7 or Windows 8. As long as you have these browsers, if you have an XP operating system, if you have updated your browsers so that you have the latest, I can run the um, my IT Lab Office 2013 on my XP because I've updated my browsers to be the latest. So do not distress if you have an XP system, but you are able to run these. Okay. The Mac, the difference in Office 2013 is that in Office 2013 it is all web-based that this software is run. 
So please take note of all this information for your operating systems and browsers. The next requirement is to set up your My IT Lab to run the browser tune-up. Okay. When you run the browser tune-up, it just takes you to the bottom of this page. And this is the browser tune-up for a PC. There's videos and instructions for you to follow, and also for a Mac. Um, so please make sure you do these and run this. These are the other requirements that are required. The, if you do not run the browser tune-up, if you are running Chrome, you will have a pop-up blocker that will block your quiz that pops up in order for you to take the quiz or the simulation or anything else that my IT lab is running. So please make sure that you allow Pearson as a trusted site always, and then your computer will be set up properly to run the my IT lab software. Additional other requirements that you may need, screen resolutions, you can set this all up and running this browser tune-up for your PC or Mac will go ahead and put this the way you need it. Okay, so there are other information and other support things for setting up your computer, um, you know, how to get set up and everything you need to know for the My IT Lab software. So simply go to your student support site and you can also click on more where you will also have access. This emphasizes how important this home computer setup for Office 2013 is. Now, if you have a 2010 code for My IT Lab, please note that you will have to buy another My IT Lab Office 2013 um, access code because your system, the 2013, is now set up on the Pegasus 5 platform for Pearson and the 2010 is on the Pegasus 3 platform. So I hope this information has been valuable to you. This is Maureen Allen, President of Technical Consulting, Faculty Advisor for Pearson Publishing, and also uh, in Computing Sciences at Elon University, Guilford College, UNC Greensboro, and Alamance Community College. Thank you for watching and hope you have a wonderful day and this information is valuable to you.